I have a second craft for you. And then the one and only Martha Stewart is here in person. She brought back the things that you all loved. Plus, she has a brand new book that when you buy it from us on the queue, you will have a chance to uh, get the book and you'll get a year subscription of her magazine. That's how exciting this is. All right, you want the best price for this entire garden season and you want to get it before it sells out because everything I have today, only quantities of the season for the daylilies. These are premium perpetual daylilies. There are 10 of them. This one day only price expires at the end of the day is the best price for the entire season for six months and nobody but Philip Watson could put this together for us. So horticulturist, landscape designer, really great guy with a, I, I would say your heart's probably bigger than the hibiscus and that's pretty hard to do. How are you? <laughs> And somebody uh, who loves coffee. I, I, oh, yeah. I even brought my own coffee pot I, no. to the queue today and my own coffee. You brought your own coffee pot. I'm so impressed. I do, but, but these woke me up. I love daylilies. It was the first perennial I, I ever had. It was my, it? My grandmother yeah. gave me one when I was just a kid. Oh, I love and I was it. hooked on flowers after that. And mm -hmm. the one she gave me was a yellow one. As you see, we've uh -huh. got a lot of bright yellows in the collection. Nice. Our biggest daylily collection of the whole year. If you've always wanted to have you them, want a lot of these. This is what you yes, want. Yes, yes. They are foolproof. Mm -hmm. And right there, yeah. and then we're going to remind you that you are getting 10 pieces and these will bloom the very first year. Yes, indeed. All right, sir. Only quantities of the season. The shipping and handling is included. Two easy pays, but if you have that cue card again, three easy pays. One of the best benefits of the cue card. Gorgeous so what colors are we gonna get? we've got here. Well, but you know the what? one I'm looking at right now, what? Stop because what's a perpetual day lily? Well, let me just tell you, we've got one-time bloomers, uh -huh. you've got re-bloomers, and then you've got varieties that bloom all season long oh. and they don't rest. If they just go on and on and on, and, and that's, that's the kind I want. Do. That's what you want. They perform mm -hmm. like an annual, but they're perennial. They come back every year. They'll grow in poor soil in the north, in the south, in the wet, in the dry, in the shade, in the sun, in the container, in the ground. They really are foolproof, and that's why my grandmother gave me the day lily as my first flower she inspired because she you. wanted me to be successful. I love that. She wanted that. somebody to garden with. You know, it's interesting because when people here ask me, of all people, but they do because they know I love gardening, what do you recommend? I always say day lilies. You cannot kill a you, day lily. You can't kill them. They're just Thank fantastic. Goodness. The ones I'm looking at right now, mm -hmm. and this is a gorgeous representation of what you can have in your garden for years and years to come. But these right here, the solid yellow, is fragrant returns and they keep right on blooming and they keep on being fragrant. They're really fragrant, nice intermediate size. Right. They're not the big gaudy kind, which I which you know are pretty, but I like this size right here. And the one when I saw this one, wow. by the way, this one's called Orange Smoothie. You get one of these because <laughs> they're really, really unusual. And we had to beg, beg, <laughs> I'm telling you, to get this one in the, in the collection uh, because they didn't want to let them go. But this one is the most beautiful orange smoothie color you've ever seen in your life. And then just beyond that, That's you've heard of pretty. Stella Dioras, yes, right? Yes. This is called mm -hmm. the black eyed Stella. And you get three of these, you see, and it's not really black eyed, it's got right. that, you know, beautiful eyes down in there. But again, gorgeous, gorgeous color. So I love all of this. And then look at the up here. Oh, look at the center. Look, look how beautiful these yeah. are. These are purple Deora. And you, the Stella Deora is just yellow. This one is a nice lavender purple. You get three of these. So you're getting in this collection. 10 daylilies and big, big divisions. Oh, They'll bloom they this year, and there are the colors you're going to get. Wow, wow, wow. Please order more than one. <laughs> because when these come in, when you get them and you go, this was easy, and then when you see the blooms the first year, and then they come back the next year, and then they come back the next year, and they keep getting better and better and better. And Philip hand selected these so I that did. they would all work together in harmony. I think that's really important for but us. But it was also. real exciting to look at the planting mm -hmm. fields. By the way, these were also grown in Michigan. And so we go go out there, we look at the planting fields, and we look to see where they're uniformly growing. You know, some, some of them 
them are spotty blooming here and spotty blooming there. Right. These were uniformly blooming. These will perform in your garden for years and years to come, whether you've got a small garden or a big garden, but you get a lot of coverage out of 10 yeah, daylilies. That's a good way to put it. And next season, divide mm -hmm. them and you can get three or four new plants out of each one of these. Yeah, it's just amazing. You know, instead of buying, and listen, I love to buy flats of flowers too. And <laughs> you'll buy, you'll still buy some of those because you enjoy it, but this is the way you build a garden. Buying daylilies, buying hibiscus and multiples, but buy that second set. And where are you gonna place them? Now, what do these need? Well, these will grow in full sun, to partial shade, okay. and if you live in an area where you've got saltwater inundation, say coastal areas, right. they don't mind the salt water at all. Oh, that's good. They'll, they'll grow in the areas that get a little bit wet. They'll also grow in dry soil, but they're really, really tough. If you've got an embankment in front of your house, they'll actually stop the erosion. That's why you see daylilies oh, wow. often planted on the edges of bridge abutments mm -hmm. because they keep it from eroding, and then you don't have to mow that area. You know, I don't want to mow the steep areas, but. Why don't you go on that end okay. and I'll get on this end and let's show how big this collection yeah. is because one plant per pot. This is a big, Wait, big collection. One plant per pot? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, ma'am. This is what they do. You want Look. a big bang for the buck. This is the mm -hmm. way to get it. The daylily is the easiest perennial on God's green earth to, go, to grow. And this is what they're going to do for you. You can share them. You can enjoy them. My grandmother was right because I could grow it and I was, I think I was nine years old and I've had daylilies ever since. Yeah. My buddy David Wynn down in Fredericksburg, Virginia said, the daylily is the backbone of the summer garden. Well, that's a really great statement and a truer one not to be uh, heard on that. <laughs> um, we have a growing guide. You have in your hand what it comes with. And I'm gonna show you how to plant it. Okay. Shall we? Yeah, please do. Because I'll here's the thing, I, I'll be perfectly honest, and. I'm, maybe you're even thinking this. I can go to the store and now I can find daylilies in a box. Yes. And when you take them out of the box, they're all crumbling and everything. And I think, oh, are those really gonna they're grow? Not, they're not fresh. Right. That's the thing. These are freshly dug outside of Zeeland, mm -hmm. Michigan. This is the way that they'll arrive to you, a nice root system. I've got my bigger I digger. I think you could probably even right plant these upside down. You can, you can plant them <laughs> sideways, but that's the thing, you can tell which, which, which end yeah. is up with these. Because they have that little green thing And just already. plant them like that, but again, these are tough. They work in all areas of the country, and people say, well, what if I live all the way down, say, in Miami? Will they work down there? Yes, ma'am, they will. They'll Excellent. work fine down there, and they'll also work fine in Aspen, Colorado, of all the perennials we offer, this one grows in the widest area. So no matter where I live, no yes. matter what kind of soil I have, and you're not only getting one, but you're getting 10 of those. Yes. Everything we have though, only quantities of the season are here right now. And this is the largest set that Cottage Farms and Philip was able to bring us. So that's really important. 10 so, pieces. So talk me through ideas. I see pots. How yes. big of a pot do I need? Well, you can put these in about uh, 16 to 18 inch diameter pots the okay. first season. You can move them up to larger pots, but in the fall, you can take them out of the pot and divide them and put them in a border, like along your driveway, nice. um, along a pathway mm -hmm. that leads up to your house, um, along the front of your border, um, little clumps of them among tree I love roots. That where nothing right. else will grow because these will take those harsh conditions. If you've got an area and you don't feel like spending any money on building the flower bed, these will grow in construction debris from new house construction. This is how you build a garden. Yes. Gardening 101 right here with the day <laughs> lilies. Um, M56664 and Philip, you selected these varieties for their hardiness, for the ease of growth, so that they come back, because these are perpetual, that they continue to bloom the entire time. And there are not many daylilies that you can say are perpetuals. There are a lot of rebloomers out there, but these just don't stop blooming. And I hate a quitter. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got time, particularly if you've got a small garden, you haven't got room for things that bloom for a short period of right, time. Right, exactly. Because that's just like dead space. Mm -hmm. You want it blooming all the time. The daylily will do that with absolute, the most minimal of care. And I like the fact that they've got the grass-like foliage. I do too, I was the thinking that. The larger daylilies yeah. have got that kind of coarse foliage. Right. 
And because it's reblooming all of the time, it's not only sending up new blooms, it's sending up new foliage because it's constantly refreshing itself. Fragrance? You've, you've seen the one, yes. You've seen the one-time mm -hmm. bloomers. Right. And what they do by August, it looks like a Halloween display yeah, it does. because they've got the dead stalks, mm -hmm. the seasoning foliage where it's turning yellow already. It's ugly. Yeah. I'm not interested in ugly. We don't have time Not today for that. or yesterday yeah. or tomorrow. <laughs> and if you're putting them in containers, it's not like you have to change them out. These right. are a medium size. Is that fair to say? That, a yes, medium I, size about, day, about 20 inches tall. Okay. And again, a giant collection. I've got, we're looking at the, those are the black eyed Stella's that you've okay. got right there. Which really are red in the center. Really beautiful. Yeah. So you've got three of those. I like the edges are curly. And then the star of the show, this orange smoothie. I w I'm telling you, I had a fit when I saw it. <laughs> and, and I kept saying, we've got to have it. We've got to have it. So we finally begged. That's why we have one of these in the collection. And then we also had the beautiful fragrant returns here. This bright yellow fragrant one back here. And purple Deora. You can't go wrong with a beautiful purple. Mardi Gras is coming up. You got to be yeah. ready. Get your garden ready for the season. And these are foolproof. You couldn't get any yes. more on spot with this one as far as foolproof. So let's remind everyone, yes. you don't pay for them until they come. This Correct. is the best possible price. And the map we're looking at. Well, nothing ships until it's perfectly safe to plant in your area, but take a look at our zone map, pick your area of the country out, match it to your box off to the right-hand side are the dates when the plants will ship. Nothing comes to you until it's perfectly safe to plant in your area. And if you're a first-time gardener, or if you're thinking, gosh, I just don't know if I can garden, maybe you can't. We got you covered anyway. At Cottage <laughs> Farms, we aren't happy if you aren't happy. We warrant 